I'm your host, Caleb Lawrence, and this is The Market Bull, March 27th, 2020. Despite finishing on a down note, the major averages soared this week, with the S&P 500 up 250 points, or 10.9%, while the Nasdaq jumped 655 points, or 9.6%. Complements of resumption in quantitative easing, or QE, and a $2 trillion stimulus package. The Fed's balance sheet exploded higher, up $586 billion for the week, to $5.25 trillion. Of note, this total doesn't include the bulk of the MBS, or mortgage-backed securities, the Fed bought as they take a while to settle. This brings the two-week total of QE to an eye-opening $942 billion. Is it any wonder the market went up? The previous Fed balance sheet record high was set during QE3 at just under $4.5 trillion in early 2017. When the latest round of trouble started in mid-September, the Fed started bailing out the repo market that had blown out. Total assets on the Fed balance sheet have soared $1.41 trillion since. The lion's share of this ended up as helicopter money for Wall Street. Creditforecast.com reports that household credit increased 4.17% from a year ago in February. The $26 billion monthly advance was led by credit cards up 4.9%, while bank and auto loans both advanced 4.2%. Delinquency rates slipped fractionally and remain very low. It is likely that credit card use will jump in the coming months as the unemployed tap credit cards in an attempt to make ends meet, much as they did as the great financial crisis got underway in 2008. The Standard & Poor's 500 index closed today at 2,541.47, down 88.60, while the Nasdaq finished the day at 7,502.38, down 295.16. Gold ended trading at $1,630.60 an ounce, down $20.60. This is Caleb Lawrence, Registered Investment Advisor. I can be reached directly, 831-334-5318, or stop by my office, 5321 Scotts Valley Drive and Willis Road in the Scotts Valley Plaza, Suite 202, Scotts Valley, California, 95066. Additional writings and other entries are also available on my blog at www.clinvestments.com. Advisory services are offered through Caleb Lawrence, Registered Investment Advisor, Inc. And with that, you're up to date as we close the week.